The Daily Hiva Guard is a powerful guard for both defense and attack when our partner stands, and there are a lot of different gripping configurations that you can use to defend and attack. We've just been doing the collar and sleeve, which is a classic grip, but I want to show you another gripping configuration that leads to a bunch of attacks, and specifically today we're going to cover the Oma Plata. So, if Eric stands in my open guard, and I make the Daily Hiva hook, this is always going to be fundamental, right? The Daily Hiva hook swims from the outside in, hooks against the side, my knee comes toward my head, and that's the fundamentals. This is my attack leg, which can either get a spider hook for Dale's spider, step on his hip, step on his knee, attack all sorts of stuff. Often my partner's gonna come down and grab my collar like he did before. Whether he does or whether he doesn't, it's usually possible, like if he grabs my collar, it's always gonna be possible to get a cross grip. But I tend to look for the cross grip anyway, because I personally love attacking the back, and if I have a cross grip, I'm always able to expose the back. So we can do techniques like the barambolo, like the baby bolo, um, little dump sweeps, tripod sweep, all sorts of stuff from this cross grip. The other thing I like in this situation is to grab his heel. Because remember, the De La Hiva hook is my control leg. I don't want Eric, if Eric can disrupt this hook, I have to transition and play a different guard. And if I don't want to do that, the hook plus the ankle means if Eric does anything and moves, I stay stuck to him pretty easily, right? So typically, one of the primary things that I try and do is, to, is attack the back here. And I go back and forth between attacking the back and if he corrects his angle, like I try to attack the back, if he's like, I step forward, then I go into a tripod sweep. That's my typical back and forth lateral movement attack here. But the thing is, you know there's no more plata there as well, especially if he doesn't want me to take his back. So if I try to attack the back, instead I'm gonna step on the hip instead of where I would look for, I'm just rolling to attack the back, or coming forward for the tripod, instead, I take my daily heel hook out, step on the hip, and my cross grip, instead of pulling, like I would if I was attacking his back, punches, like comes in front. The advantage to this gripping configuration is where's my hand? It's already on his leg, right? So he can't step over my head. We'll deal with what to do when he's able to step over your head during the defeating the defense portion of the instructional, but it's always better if you don't have to change grips in transition. And so, in this situation, ideally, right, from the standard and the position, my ideal grips would be I cup the elbow, but in this case, I've landed in a position where I have control of his sleeve and I have control of the part of his leg which will allow him to step over the head. So that's one reason I really like this grip configuration is it lands us in a position where we've already defeated a bunch of his defense. So show that again one more time from the different angle. So we get the daily diva guard. My buddy gets my sleeve. I get the cross grip. Now again, a lot of different attacks you can do from here. But in this case, I'm posting off his far hip, so I maybe try and attack the back, but instead of trying to attack the back, I come up and step on the hip. Instead of pulling the arm across and trying to drag it, I'm punching it like I'm trying to put it in this part of my hip. My knee turns down, I stomp, breaking his posture. And you see how I land right in my control position that's basically the standard omoplata position. Like again, in my ideal world, I'd have my, my hand here, but this is gonna work, and we don't wanna adjust grips in transition for fear we wind up with worse grips than we started with. And we go right to, flat mountain finish. We can also finish him right there, right? And when we transition to the finishing part of the instructional, I'll show you how to finish even if we can't get him out of the turtle. But one of the reasons I love that attack is not only is it high percentage, not only does it disguise some of our other attacks, our back attacks and our tripod sweeps, but we land in a position that's really easy to control from the standard omoplata position perspective.